For question 1, first equal to mean and select the data of savings. Can question 2 equal to max and select the data of checking account. For question 3, equal to count if and select the data for loan purposes and select the education. For equal to count if with S and select the data of loan purposes, comma, select the business, comma, select the data of age, comma, and put the sign of more than equal to 30. Enter. For question 5, we use equal, then sum, select all the checking account balance, then enter. Last one for question 6, we will use sum if, open the bracket, and select the loan purpose, comma, select the small appliance, comma, and select all the account balance, then enter. That is the answer for question 1A. E. For question 1B, we will use if, open the bracket, C for less than 1000, comma, it will be low saving or otherwise it will be high saving. Then close the bracket and then enter. That's the answer and then paste it to all the data. For question C1, we use equal if open the bracket and open the bracket and for equal to low saving, comma, the month's employee is less than 24, close the bracket, comma, and high risk, then enter, then paste it to all the data. Question C2, we use equal if open the bracket and open the bracket and for equal to high saving, comma, the month's employee is more than 60, close the bracket, comma, and low risk, close the bracket. Enter, then paste it to all the data, that's it, done. For the last question, we will use we look up for me where equal to VLOOKUP, open the bracket and select the ID, comma, select all the data, comma, and loan provider is at row 2, then close the bracket. Don't forget to put the dollar sign to lock it up. For customer age, at the row 9, therefore just check and enter. Level of credit risk, which is at row 13, change to 13, close the bracket and enter. Then how to find it? Just type E1020 at the ID and enter. The answer will come out. Ta-da! Okay, for the question 2, for me, we use average formula. Then we select checking data. And saving also use the same formula. And select saving data. For variance, we use var.s formula. Then select checking data. Then enter. And saving account also use the same formula. var.s then select saving account. Then enter. Next to calculate standard deviation, we use stdef.s formula. Then select checking data. Then enter. For saving account also, we use the same formula. For the coefficient of variation, standard duration divided by mean And for CV account so standard duration divided by mean For the account that has greatest dispersion is checking account because of the mean Next to calculate coefficient of skewness is skew And select checking data Then enter For CV account so we use the same formula Next we want to calculate coefficient of kurtosis We use KURT formula and select checking data then for saving data, KURT and select saving data, then enter. Next for recommend, it is highly skewed to the right. And for saving account also, highly skewed to the right. Comment for coefficient of ketosis is, it was picked with less dispersion because it was more than 3. For question 2C, we select data, then data analysis 2, then descriptive statistic, then we select the range which is checking in saving account, then label in the first row, then enter. To calculate the z-score, we use the standardized formula, then select one of the check account data, then we select mean and standard duration, and we put dollar sign in front of it because we want to lock it. Then we use the same formula for all of the data. Next, for the outlier, we use if formula, then select z-score less than 3 and put outlier words, and if they did not meet the requirement, we put no words. Second outlier, we use the same formula, if formula, z-score more than 3 and put outlier and put no words if they did not meet the requirement. Lastly, to plot the graph, we select all the z-score data, then insert, then recommended chart.